Welcome to our lecture online. Our next problem to challenge you is the following. We have a 100 Newton force which acts along the xy plane and makes an angle of the inverse tangent of 2 with the positive x-axis. Find the vector in the ij form. Now since in the xy plane it's not going to have a third uh, component, not going to have a, a k component, so it'll be just in the ij form. All right, how do we do that? Well, first, let's find out what angle that is equal to. Let's say we have an angle theta, and it's equal to the inverse tangent of 2. All right, let's get a calculator and figure out what that angle is equal to. We put in 2, and we take the inverse tangent. that gives us 63.435 degrees. 63.435 degrees. I'm adding a few... Signif well, un insignificant figures, just so that we don't have a runoff error. Next, we want to make a visual drawing of what's going on. So let's draw an xy plane. The y-axis, the x-axis, and draw a vector with an angle of 63 degrees. Like so let's say that's the vector f, and the magnitude of vector is equal to 100 newtons and we make an angle of theta which is equal to 63.435 degrees with respect to the positive x-axis. All right, what are we supposed to do now? We're supposed to find a vector in the format as follows, that the vector f is equal to f sub x in the i direction plus f sub y in the j direction. We're trying to find the x and y components of that vector. Well, to find the x component, we project the vector onto the x-axis. So we can see that this here would be the x component, f sub x. And to find the y component, we project the vector onto the y-axis, which means that this here, we get the f sub y. And of course, these are vectors of themselves. And now we're supposed to find the magnitude of those two vectors, which can be found by taking the cosine and the sine of the angle. So that means f sub x is equal to f times the cosine of theta, which is equal to 100 newtons, multiplied times the cosine of 63.435 degrees. And let's see what that's equal to. So take the cosine of that, and we multiply it times 100, and we get 44.7 newtons. So f sub x is equal to 44.7 newtons. We do the same for f sub y. f sub y is equal to f times the sine of theta, which is equal to 100 newtons, times the sine of 63.435 degrees. 63.435, take the sine of that, and multiply times 100, and we get 89.4. So that would be f sub y is equal to 89.4 newtons. So finally, when we plug those components in here, we have that the force vector f is equal to 44.7 newtons in the x direction or the i direction. So we can either use x or, or i. We'll go ahead and since we asked for i and j, we'll put in the i plus 89.4 newtons in the j direction and here's the force vector in its x and y components or its i and j components and that's how it's done.